It's like I said, it's just simple economic tricks scaled up to a macro level. Let me give you the full details from the start. You have my full attention. I'm listening. It's so simple that when you hear it, it will sound so obvious that you'll feel like you knew it all along. Rule 1 of finance. Don't get caught in a Ponzi scheme. Rule 1 of becoming a billionaire. Start a lot of Ponzi schemes that don't look like Ponzi schemes, make them look like investments, or at least just good ideas. That's true. One of the big problems with Ponzi schemes is you only get to fleece a few levels of people in the pyramid, then you are out, and the people below you get to cash in a bit until it bottoms up, then the majority of commoners wake up broke. They may even show up to work on time after that. A real artist will see to it that one small group gets all of it, but still be able to fleece hundreds of thousands to millions of people. Suppose you want to be in the hardware and home repair market. Suppose you have a lot of money, like way more than you need to be in the hardware and lumber business, but since other people in your social circles have more than you, you still need to find a way to get way more money than you already have from hardware sales than the others in that market are. When you enter the business, you will be increasing the supply, so naturally the prices will go down, which hurts your overall goals. So there are a number of ways to approach this. You can lower your internal costs severely below your competitors, or you can persuade your competitors to quit the business, or you can get everybody to think you are great and the other businesses are not, or, illegally in the USA, you can collude on pricing with the competitors to fleece the population as a team. It's quite difficult to lower your internal costs significantly below a local competitors. Largely, the only place you have to manage significantly lower costs is in materials. Labor is a huge cost of doing business, but if you offer wages too low, your business won't get high quality local talent. There's no reason for you to get cheaper insurance from an underwriter than your competitors do. Your energy costs are coming from the same supplier. You can see that lowering costs isn't a powerful option. It becomes a tool for competition, but only a small one. And since materials are only a small part of your overall costs and they are marginal costs instead of fixed overhead costs, you need another plan, but all the others are not feasible. So what to do? Start a negative advertising campaign that borderline slanders them. It was a rhetorical question. Predatory pricing to the rescue. Remember I said you had way more money than you needed to enter the hardware business? That will allow you to lose money longer than the competitors, whom have been satisfied with doing a fair business and earning a decent living. First you find out what the reasonable minimum cost is that you can sell product at in order to break even, and then you set your prices about 10% to 15% below that. You will be hemorrhaging cash but so will your competition. You have enough working capital to lose money for years on end, but the competition won't. Generally normal people in the market don't think this kind of thing could happen because it is insane self-destructive behavior, and they will be caught in aware. At first he'll think your prices are just a pull in business to get started, but then later he's going to notice your stores are full, and you are still selling low. His customers that have been with him for decades will begin to think he is a bit of a wanker for overcharging them on products for all those years past. They will stop buying from him and only come into your store. Eventually as a reasonable businessman he will give up and quit the business. With him gone, you can finally start to raise prices well above what he was charging. With the competition gone you can start to pay lower wages because there isn't a competitor to go to with better wages for the same skilled labor. Also since the competition is gone you can lower your quality standards by buying product from poor nations. It's a trifecta of winning. Lower costs on two fronts higher pricing, and omnipotence to do as you please. I'm not really sure that I'm getting the connection yet. I'm with Reginald here. I know about how to run a market through clever destruction of competition, but I don't follow how you say it's got anything to do with government. That conversation is for inside a safe location. It wouldn't look good to get caught saying it, if you catch my drift. <laughs>